Hello everyone, this is Tatiana from Journal Time with Tea. Welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back if you're returning. It's great to have you all. Uh, first of all, so I do want to say a big thank you to all of my subscribers. I just checked this morning and I'm up to 500 subscribers and I just want to thank you all so very much. Um, I didn't think that I would get this far <laughs> um, in my YouTube when I first started. Um, it wasn't primary, my primary goal to, you know, kind of gain subscribers and everything. It was just kind of to make content at that, you know, as a hobby, I guess. And I'm glad that people enjoy it. So just thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of my subscribers. I, it means a lot to me that so many of you enjoy my content. <laughs> um, but today I wanted to do a little bit of a different video. Um, I kind of wanted to do like a what's in my bag video, like planner edition. Um, because I bought this beautiful minimalist um, leather crossbody bag that I've had for about a week now. I got it about a week ago. And I bought it because I'm trying to um, kind of pare down on what I carry every day in my planner because I've got some shoulder issues and I'm kind of tired of just lugging around a giant um, tote all the time like I've been doing. So I saw this and I thought it was pretty reasonably priced um, for what it was. Um, and so I decided to buy it. So this is a full leather crossbody um, minimalistic purse from Estelle Leather on Etsy, and I will um, link everything in the description box. It's got a really neat um, clasp here that I really like, just a really minimalist clasp with a little flap to it. Um, I believe it's full grain leather. The strap is leather as well and it is adjustable with a little buckle on here, which I really like um, the little buckle as well. So I kind of wanted to show you what I currently have in it and what I've been carrying um, and what planner sizes kind of have the potential to fit in here if people are interested in that, because I know I like learning those types of things and watching those types of videos. Um, so the bag is, so the width is 1.9 inches um, by I believe 7.8 inches across and 6.2 inches in height. So like I said, very minimalistic, pretty tiny purse. Um, I initially bought it because I've been carrying around a passport size, but once again, I've kind of updated a little bit. Um, so I'll show you guys here in a minute. So nothing no pockets inside or anything like I said this is a very minimalistic purse I just want to see you guys can still see everything okay good um so right now I currently have my wallet I pared down on my wallet as well and I'm really happy that I did I love it so much it's so much easier to carry around than the big wallet that I've had been carrying around um and I, I can link this too in the description for anyone that's interested. It's like a minimalistic purse from, or wallet, excuse me, from Amazon. Um, it's got, I wanna say 12 pockets to it, plus this little flap that uh, I'm not gonna show you, but it holds my, I, my ID, my driver's license, so that comes open. And then I have a bunch of credit cards. You can have credit cards there, credit cards here. Um, and credit cards here and then there's a slit here which I just keep my receipts in and then another one here that I keep extra stuff in as well plus the the zipper pouch here where I just keep my dollar bills so I keep that in here I figured it was the perfect size I like how well it went with it and it made me really happy um, and then to oops <laughs> uh, just my car keys I carry those with me too and this little pouch that I got when I graduated college, like in 2015, um, <laughs> we're not gonna talk about that, that I just keep um, a little like thing of hand lotion, um, some chapstick, a little nail file, some nail clippers, just stuff that I, I tend, I find myself using a lot when I'm out and about. Um, 
So I just keep them in here so they're not kind of like all over in the purse. Um, and then I have an extra pen and a Tide to Go because I am notorious for <laughs> getting stuff on me whenever we go out to eat. And then I have my standard Stalogy because I am oops, back in my standard Stalogy and I haven't got it set up for the next week. I just kind of decided the other day that I really wanted to switch back into it because I really missed my Stalogy. Um, so I'm back in this. Um, right now I just have a clear cover on it from Lauren Phelps Design and it fits in here as you can see with some extra room in there where I can fit you know all of the stuff I just pulled out of it um, I don't know I I was thinking about getting a folio like a standard folio cover for this at some point in time not right now um, I am a little on trying to do a little bit of a no spend <laughs> until I can get some of my credit cards down um, and I'm not sure how well it would fit in with the folio cover but I'm definitely hoping to get one soon and try it out and I'll let you guys know that when I do um so yeah so I'm back in there but I also wanted to show you kind of how other how many other planner sizes can it fit in here which since it's so tiny it's not much um but I did want to show you guys anyway like I said in case anyone was curious so I did initially purchase this because I was in my September leather um, passport size for planning and I was having fun in this size for a couple weeks. Um, I love the leather. I thought it went pretty well with the purse. It's a little bit darker but you know leather and leather. <laughs> you can't go wrong. <laughs> um, and this actually fits in here like you can you can stand it up or you can lay it down and there's still like plenty of room like if you stand it up it just takes off takes up that half and then you can literally just everything that I carry fits in there no problem and then you can put the flap down and close it and it fits in there no issue and so if you do carry a passport size and you want a minimalist purse um, that doesn't you know hold quite a bit because you're trying you don't hold a lot or you don't need to carry a lot excuse me then I definitely recommend this purse I love it um the smell actually the smell of the leather I forgot to mention is really nice really good smelling leather for sure um so yeah so the passport definitely fits in here no issue and you can have you know all the extra stuff on the side that you need to carry as well um so you saw that the that a standard size does fit in here. This is the Stalogy half year um, cut into the standard. So you can see that it does fit in here. And, you know, as you saw earlier, all my stuff does fit in here with it. Um, not sure if it would fit in a folio cover or not. I, I don't have one to try out right now, unfortunately. Um, but that does fit in there just like that. So if you just carry like one insert for standard, you'd probably be good. And um, the A6, which I use for my journaling. So this can fit in here as well if you kind of put it like that. And then you can have some extra stuff on the side. I just want to see, because I only just kind of put it in here to see how well it would actually fit. But we might be able to make this work. Let's see. I'm just trying stuff out right now. So here's everything that I carry. And oh. Ooh, maybe. Oh, well, it clips. It's a little <laughs> a little tight, um a little chunky right now. But it fits, so you could potentially carry around an A6 as well as long as you weren't carrying too awful much extra. I don't think you'd have a problem with an A6 size. So that's the A6 in there. And my A6 is 
a tad chunky because I've got a, a Stalogy in there and stuff. So, I mean, that's a bit of a chunkier one. And I do have two different um, standard sizes that I kind of wanted to try, too. Um, this is just the regular um, Traveler's Company standard size, so it's not too awful thick. Um, so we'll see. So you can definitely fit it in there. Um, so I could actually probably fit a folio in for the standard Stalogy and be okay. Um, so you have the standard in there. And so there's those. And my keys. My keys are what takes up the most room because, you know, I have like bits and bobs on it and everything. <laughs> and it latches. So it, this standard size in the Traveler's Company fits in here. It looks like just fine with everything that I carry around on a daily basis. So you'd be, you should be able to carry a standard. If you carry the Traveler's Company cover, no problem. As long as you don't have a lot of inserts in it, I think you'd be okay with this bag. Okay, so let's get all this out again. And then I wanted to show you two, um, a different cover. So this is the um, Mystic Little Gifts and Company Earth Weather Travelers Company, the standard. Um, and this has the reinforced spine to it. So this one's definitely thicker than um, the Travelers Company one. So I just wanted to show you, because um, I actually did try this one in the other day. Like, you could carry <laughs> the notebook in this purse, but that is literally the only thing you'd be able to carry. So anything wider than, um, if you're going for standard size, anything wider than the Traveler's Company one clearly will not fit. I mean, unless that's what you're going for. If that's what you want to carry is just your notebook, I mean, I might be able to sh put my wallet in here. So yeah, I can put my wallet in here too and still close it but like I can't carry my keys or anything in here which is what is a big thing for me because I don't like having to put my keys in my pockets so yeah if you want to carry a thick standard it it probably won't work too well unless it's the only thing you want to carry in this purse <laughs> uh, but yeah I uh I really highly recommend um this purse like I said the smell of it's nice the craftsmanship is really nice um, I love the look of the leather it's got a lot of character to it and I had to talk to the shop owner um, to get some tracking because I, I wasn't updated with the tracking information initially when he got it sent out he was very awesome to work with very polite um, you know answered all of my questions which was great but I just wanted to show you because I'm in love with this purse because it, it forces me to to not carry so much like I said I've got some shoulder issues and I just really don't want to carry unnecessary stuff because it gets to the point where I'm carrying like this giant tote bag with like things in it that I don't need just unnecessary stuff and then I've got to lug it all around with me and it's just it's annoying <laughs> I don't want to do it so I figured I'd get on and share for anyone else who is interested. But yeah, there is my what's in my bag video. Probably not a very long video, but um, I just wanted to show you all. And yeah, sorry, terrible at endings today. <laughs> um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I will try to have most everything that I you know saw in here used in here um in the description box with links and everything so you can check those out and thanks for watching the video i hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for stopping by bye everyone <laughs>